Greetings Opal's users. In this quick look tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add students to your Opal system. User, Add, and here's the form you'll fill out. Let me show you a filled out form. First name is required, last name, those are the two required fields. It's very helpful to put in a graduation year if you have it. A grade is very helpful. Teacher, homeroom, email, and there's other fields such as birthday, home, phone or cell phone, notes, preferred name, preferred contact. But most schools typically put in the first and last name, the email, the homeroom, the teacher, the grade, and the year of graduation. Those are typical fields. They're very good because if you're a lower school, an elementary school, having a homeroom or a teacher allows you to do the group loans by calling up a homeroom or a teacher and all the students assigned to that particular homeroom or teacher will come up and you don't have to look for individual students. So once you've filled this out, you can fill out the address information with the address line 1 and 2, city, state, zip, or an alternate address. Finally, you'll want to put the school ID. If your school does have an ID that stays with the student through their tenure at your school, you'll want to put it in the user barcode area and the student ID area, the same number in both. It's very important also to choose the user type. In my system, I have students. You may have K1, grades 3 to 5, grades 9 to 12, whatever. But you'll want to make sure you assign a user type. Typically, student would be in a system. Okay. And the status should be active. Keeping loan history is, is up to you in your library. Uh, if you're going to allow students to log in, there would be a login username and password. Once you've filled out all the fields that you'll find necessary, click Save. And the student that you've entered has been saved, and you can start circulating to that student. If you need any help, please call 877-331-1022 and ask for tech support or email support at opalsinfo.net. Thank you.